uh, four years ago, NHS England, uh, clearly a bit worried about what uh, uh, the Tavistock Clinic and other people were doing to ch our children uh, in terms of gender confused children they commissioned a report it's taken four years to get together uh, p leading uh, uh, pediatrician uh, dr hillary cass has got together uh, this comprehensive report and she says uh, that there is remarkably weak evidence uh, that uh, sustains the idea that we should give children, uh, per, for example, puberty blockers, yeah. life-changing drugs, uh, and we don't know where uh, they're, they're irreversible. And uh, Dr. Cass says we don't even really know the effects. That is extraordinary. This isn't? is a massive scandal. What this report does is lay bare, and it talks about the toxic culture surrounding the debate. It lays bare the fact that this transing of children has been basically nothing short of child abuse. It talks, for instance, about the fact that once upon a time gender dysphoria, a very rare condition, mainly prevalent among males, suddenly became overwhelmed. 75% of young people turning up to clinics like the JIDS clinic were young girls. Why? Because they're being brainwashed by online pornography. Uh, they're falling into depression. Then children are being prevented from having any sort of supportive holistic treatment like therapy. Instead, they're being medicalized and pushed out a pathway to mutilate their young bodies and being told this is great, affirming a lot of it. Um, I think this is going to massively open up in the future massive litigation against doctors against the government against schools when people turn around and say look what you did to us was wrong exactly. this is a massive medical scandal and we will look back in years to come in generations to mm. come they will look back at the tavistock clinic and everything that we did to our children and Evil. we will, and people will reel back in horror that what on earth right. does the NHS think it was doing? The Tavistock Clinic was Frankenstein's castle where children went to be mutilated in uh, at the altar of some sort of woke uh, philosophy about, oh, if children feel they're in the wrong body, let's operate on them. Let's give them irreversible yeah. drugs. Unbelievable. Let's have a little listen to Dr Cass uh, registering some of her dismay about what's been going on. The numbers have gone up dramatically from less than 50 a year to now um, um, more than 3,000 a year. Um, and these young people have quite complex presentations. They've got a, a range of other issues that it's really important that we address. Uh, and I think one of the problems that's, that's arisen is that people have stopped looking at them in a holistic way. So they've really only focused on their gender concerns. And also, so, so she's talking there about, you know, the massive increase in the number of kids who mm, say, mm, I think mm. I'm in the wrong body. That's because of all the publicity. She yeah. talks about the toxic debate. Look, on our side of the debate, it hasn't been toxic. We just were saying, stop doing this to our children. Okay. The people throwing up their hands now in credulous, like, where do you think this happened? Where did this all spring from? I'm like, well, perhaps look at the sort of stuff that was put on CBBC. Perhaps look at the sort of characters being introduced to Hollyoaks. This has been force fed to our children. This has been turned into a fashion item. It is frankly yes. sick. And do you know what? Let's contextualise this, right? Gender dysphoria is a mental condition. It is people who think that they're born in a body different to the ones that they were actually born in when it comes to their sex. If you had a patient with body dysphoria, who looks in the mirror, even though they're dead slim, and says, I look really fat, would you say to them, yeah, you are fat, you better lose some weight? No, you don't affirm it. Why on earth, when young people, pressurised by social media, pressurised by what's trendy, pressurised by all the woke companies saying, I'll oh, lop off your boobs, when they go to doctors and say, I'm, I don't think I'm a boy and I don't think I'm a girl, they said, yeah, you're probably not. That's cool. That's a great way to be. That makes you non-right wing. I mean, it's just mad. It's sick. It's wrong. And I bet you in about 10 years' time, when this scandal fully erupts, you won't find a single person who said that they went along yeah. with it. Oh, no, they'll have all pretended to be on our side. Uh, well, they weren't. Uh, they weren't. There was a lot of grown adults who were like interviewing kids of eight years old even less four years old as yeah they're in the wrong body you're absolutely mad and as somebody sick and twisted. said to us yesterday this, what has been happening to our children is wicked it's Evil. wicked and it is mad and it is moronic